So you have a battery that shows one, two, three bars, but when you put it on the charger, it says it's fully charged. Here's how to fix it. So I did cheat a little bit. This is the 12th. Uh, I've already messed around with this one a little bit, figured I should uh, make a video. Uh, it actually started out at two bars, now we're up at three, but this is what it looks like inside. It's a little different. Not too much though, there's some MOSFETs under here, so there's got a little copper heat sink to keep it cool. And pulls out just like that. Same thing as the last video, you got four T8s here, four T10s on this side to remove it, and this is what it looks like. The cells are bigger than the last video. I believe they're 21700s. I believe the C8 is the same. And the number doesn't really mean anything, it's more of just and an identification. Uh, they are a little bit bigger than the 18650s um, and usually the uh, milliamp hours is also larger. And milliamp hours is essentially, if you have a tool that runs using one amp and this says 4,000 milliamps, it'll essentially run for four hours if that tool uses one amp an hour. So that's essentially all that really means. So let's get into this one. There's no screws on the bottom, so this just slips right out. There's your battery pack. So now that we are in this battery, we can get into the nitty gritty of why it's doing what it is. It's not necessarily an error, but you're not getting the full use out of the battery because it's going to stop charging at three bars. There is a BMS system in the circuit board, battery management system. And what that does is essentially each cell has a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. If it goes above that, the battery gets wrecked, essentially gets disabled. The same thing happens if it gets discharged. If it gets discharged below, I would say roughly three volts, it starts essentially degrading itself and, and the battery essentially just breaks. And that, that's, that goes true for all lithium ion cells and that's what all these are made out of. And so what the battery management system does is it keeps it within that happy range of the battery and makes sure that it operates over and over and over. You deplete it, you charge it, you deplete it, and it's within that happiness range uh, so the battery doesn't die and essentially kill itself. Batteries, however, are a crapshoot. So you can make one and it functions well, but it'll die a little quicker than others. And so this is where this is kind of coming into play. So if we go through and check each cell pack, there's five of them, we'll be able to tell what each battery cell pack is at. So this one's 4.12 we're essentially checking these two. This will be next, this, this, this. So we got five rows. Let's go ahead and check the next one. Four, pretty close to the last one, a little off though. 3.73, that is fairly low. 3.57, even lower than the last one, 4.12. Okay, so we're a little bit all over the place, these two are exceptionally low. And since the system will run off the lowest cells, it'll shut off early. So if you're depleting the battery, it won't let these go below that 3.1, 3.2-ish threshold. So it'll say the full battery is depleted. So not only are you not be able to use these other three cells fully, when you now charge it up, it's only going to let these three get up to their highest potential, which is about 4.12-ish, 4.15 is where we're at. It won't let these fully charge up. Since these aren't fully charged up, now we're stuck with three bars. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get this guy plugged up. So this is our little DC power supply, and we can have it run at four volts, discharging should be set to around 500 milliamps. It's a little lower, we'll, we'll, we'll boost it up. 500 milliamps, nice little steady charge, and we'll charge up each cell separately. And once it gets up to about equal what these are, we should have then four bars and full capacity use of the battery.
So let's go ahead and connect them up. When you connect it with the DC power supply or any other charging circuit that you need to use, you need to make sure your polarity is correct. One way you can do that is you can look at the batteries. You can tell this flat portion, that's the negative, versus this little cupped version is the positive. If you're not absolutely certain, you can take your prongs. This is the positive, this is the negative. Connect it to either side and look at your multimeter. Do you see that little negative sign next to the numbers? It goes away and then comes back. We know our polarity is flipped. So now the positive is on the left side. This is on the right side. Now the negative sign is gone. Now it's a regular number. So we now know that this is the positive side. Let's connect it. All right, so to connect this bad boy, we already checked the polarity. We're all good there. I usually just go for a little uh, prong, like so. And that should be solid. And same thing on this side. A nice little connection. Decent enough. We're at around 400 milliamps charging. 3.75, that's the load that's on it. We could probably go up a little bit on the amperage. There we go. 3.77. Let's go ahead and double check. Make sure we're actually giving the cells some power. 3.709. 3.710. Perfect. It's going up. Let's let it sit. And we'll come back once it's done. Batteries are done. Go ahead and check the voltage. 4.11, 4.09, 4.07. That was one that was low. I got it up to 4.07, 4.10. That was also a low one. 4.12. It's all like roughly balanced. Good enough for me, at least for now. And we have four bars. Perfect. All right, let's get it back in the casing and let's give it a test. I'll probably run it down to two bars and then we'll go ahead and charge it back up, take it out, and then check if the cells are still balanced. All right, so I went ahead and ran it down to two bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop it on the charger, make sure one, it hits four bars, two, take it apart, check all the cells, make sure they're still mostly in balance, and then I think we'll call it good. Okay, done charging. Let's go ahead. Check it out. Boom, four bars. I think we're good. Okay, we have 4.14, 4 4.11, 4 4.07, 4.12. It's a little finicky sometimes, 4.15. Okay. I mean, I think that's pretty solid. We have 0 0.07, 0 0.08 full difference between one of these two compared to the others, but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it back to my buddy. All right, done. I'm going to do the same thing to this 12, and uh, I think we'll call it good. Awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next one.